Welcome ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to solve and graph this compound inequality. Now the basic idea is we have or. So all for it to be in part of our one solution it has to be um, a part of one or a uh, part of one solution or on the other. So I'm going to solve these separately and then graph the solutions and see um, where, how to graph each one of these solutions separately. So to solve for x, I just divide by 15 on both sides. So I have x is going to be greater than 2. Or here, just divide by 18, divide by 18, x has to be less than negative 2. So when looking at this, um, let's say I have here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. OK, so when graphing this solution, basically what we're going to be doing is um, looking at this and determining, all right, well, at each one of these points, I'm going to have a solution set, right? So I have negative 2 and 2. Now, since this is greater than and less than, it's not equal to. So I'm not going to include these points. So I'm not going to shade them in. This one says x is greater than 2. So that means all values that are greater than the number 2. Well, 3 and 4 obviously is greater than 2. And all the limits to the left are definitely are smaller. So I'm going to shade this one to the right. And x is less than negative 2. Well, obviously, all the points to the right are greater than negative 2. So all the points to the left are less than. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve and graph your compound inequality with OR. Thanks.